Okay, everybody, um, welcome to this plan with me. I'm going to be planning in my B6 TN inserts from Aurora and Avalon Creations. We're going to be doing the week of, what week are we going to be doing? We're going to be doing the week of the 8th or the 9th to the 15th. This is last week's pre-plan and the week that we're currently in. So let's get started. We're going to be using this kit um, from um, the Pink Room Co. This is her August subscription kit. I'm just going to put these on here to kind of just keep it down. There. Down, 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 down. It's quite sunny out, so you might see a little bit of sun in my desk here. Okay, so this is the date covers, weekend banner, and some boxes. Some more full boxes to do's icons. The full boxes, I love these full boxes. I think they're so stunning. And my heart checklist. So these are built for the Happy Planner, so they are gonna take up a significant amount of room. So bear with me while we kind of try to figure this all out together. I haven't used one of these kits in my B6 inserts, but I think it's beautiful and I like it. So we're going to use it. So we are going to first lay down the date covers. And as you can see, it literally extends all the way across. So we are going to just use this as a guide. And her sticker paper is just... Oh, see, that doesn't fit at all like that. Let's pull that up and let's maybe... I love it when we all learn together. We're going to go this way. And then I can always maybe use some washi down the other side. Side. Hmm. Maybe we need to cut it. Hoo hoo hoo. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to peel it off again. Ah, come to me, sticker and we are going to cut it to make each one fit so that they have distinct boxes. I'm wondering if it will let me do this. So this is just um, a card, business card, that I'm going to use to cut the boxes so that they sit. I feel like that one's crooked. <clears throat> See, this is what planning is like. You kind of start with an idea and then you figure it out as you go. Ta-da! Still not perfect. Most planning is not perfect. Just to let you know, most planning is not perfect. If you're looking for perfection, you need to go, go elsewhere. This is not your channel. <laughs> um, so my kiddos are in school today. Um, I think if you've been watching my channel, you would know that they started school Last week, they had a day and a half, which again, seemed quite odd to me, but that's how our school system does it. So they had, I feel like I'm over quite a bit, and this one is just massively crooked. Um, so they started, they had a day and a half, and then, oh, that's not giving me back. That's staying there. Um, so they had a day and a half and then they were off. We're gonna put the Sunday one here, like 
nozzle. Okay. Oh, that's driving me bananas. It's driving me bananas how crooked that is. Okay, so if in doubt, washi. So this is my washi that I'm gonna use with this kit. It's also from the Pink Room Co. So today is a Pink Room Co. kind of day. And I'm gonna use that to kind of highlight these boxes. Underneath. So you'll have to tell me what school of thought you are. I pre-purchased all my kids school supplies so the wonderful wonderful ladies on the student council who I just love them um, for helping our kids be able to do all the activities and the fundraising and um, they definitely make our lives easier I love that washi it's so pretty um, so they arranged for a school supply company to provide the school supplies for all our kids. Um, so you just look up the grade, you pay the money, and the school supplies end up on your child's desk um, at the beginning of the school year. It is super convenient, super easy. You can pick right or left scissors, you can pick, um, you just tell them boy or girl, and then literally all your supplies end up at the school. It is so fabulous. So, but I know other moms that don't like that because they don't get to pick the supplies. Um, and I do remember like when I was a little kid, part of my favorite part of going back to school was going school supply shopping and picking your pencil case out and picking out all your like accessories and getting the pencil case you wanted and all that stuff, right? I feel like this lighting is not the best. I'm sorry, guys. Um, look at those beautiful full boxes. That turned out really pretty. I'm still mad about this box, but I can't be perfect at everything, can I, guys? Um, so, yeah, so part of me is also kind of sad. So, um, my kiddos got to pick out their backpacks. So I was like, well, that's something, right? They can pick out their backpacks. Look at that full box. Can you guys see how beautiful that full box is? Oh, stunning, stunning. So I'm gonna start my full boxes right at the bottom. I'm going to try to line them up carefully. I am obviously learning and not super perfect at this. And then we have this double seam here which I want to stick next to each other. So we're going to put that here. Um, so I'm not sure. Kind of comment below on what you guys think. Do you like to buy your kids school supplies so that you can pick, like let your kiddos pick their pencil cases and their crayons? Or do you like the idea of being able to just pre-order them, somebody else just puts them all together for you, and your, you, your kiddos just pick them up at the, at the a school? I definitely like the convenience um, of the just order and pick up. Um, I haven't really had any complaints from my children in regards to that. Um, as of yet, when they get older, they might. Um, but so far, they haven't complained at all about not being able to pick out their pencil cases and stuff. And a lot of the school supplies end up going into a communal thing. I'm just going to move this kind of like closer to the camera so you can see those full boxes so pretty 
Okay, and I'm gonna use this Pink Room Co. Washi, but part of me also is not sure because I want to put these boxes in between. Let me see how many I have of them. I have one, two, oh, I have five. Perfect. Perfect. Are they going to, am I going to have room for washi? I am going to have room for washi. Flower washi. So we're going to use this one with a different bow. Same flower, different bow. Have to find. So, so far, I thought I would get a lot of um, upset from my daughter, to be honest. Um, because she's the one that loves all the decorative pretty designs and that kind of stuff so I thought for sure she would be the one be like I want to pick out my own pencil case and all that jazz right um but as long as I let her pick out a backpack that she gets to pick um like the design and stuff on she's actually been pretty good about the school supplies but saying that they haven't really like I've never I've never bought them either so I'm not sure if they even know the difference, right? Because I'm not sure how many moms actually buy their kids' supplies. Okay, so I'm going to put these quarter boxes, I want to say that they are, down next at the bottom. And they match the kit as well. I think this washi is just, just stunning. Mm. That one's not really matching up. I think it really goes. I'm having all kinds of shadows. I'm sorry, guys. Can you see that? Let's maybe try to go more in the sun. All kinds of shadows. It's terrible. There we go. I'll get my hand out of the way so you guys can see what I've done. There we go. So half box is on. And then we're going to work on the sidebar. I'm going to put it in the sun so you guys can see. Working with natural lighting here, obviously. I'm not doing awesome. Okay, so I want to use some half boxes. My washi is standing up in the sidebars. So, which ones do I want to use? I actually want to use decorative ones, and I think I can fit two per box. So we're gonna use this bow one, and again, oh, I wanna put washi tape up there. Where's this one? I'm gonna put this washi up on the top, like so. And then my half box. And then we're gonna put this washi in between. I'm actually gonna put the bow right there. I'll show you that in a sec. Again, I apologize for the lighting. I will try to do better lighting next time. I thought the sun would help, but it's not really making it all shadowy okay and then again I'm gonna put the bow here like so my washi cutter old gift certificate card <laughs> and then I want to put um, I want to put more bows. Bows. Are they gonna fit? This is the concern. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. That one kind of covers up the black, doesn't it? 
maybe I will put on the bottom this quarter oh that quarter box and then this little appointment label on the very bottom I do not like that let's use this will this fit not really it's too wide so I have this other bow washi that came with the set from the pink room with her classic bows oh that fits perfect okay we'll put that on the bottom and then we'll get to pre-planning the week super cute super cute yeah I like it I love these full boxes I think they're beautiful I think that turned out really good all right so let me just go grab my pen hold on and I like to use a sharpie um, when I'm pre-planning so on um, Monday big day we have a school pictures so we're gonna write that in get the ink flowing in my pen somehow do 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 Okay, my Sharpie has died. So we're gonna use my Planner Anonymous pen. Okay, so we have school pictures on Monday, and I come home and sleep this day as well. And then my husband leaves for England this day. So Alan is his name. And he will be away. He is going to a family wedding. So I'm actually going to mark that all the way across. So I'm actually going to just, um, how I like to mark it is just with arrows. So I'm just going to mark that straight across that my husband is away to England. So me and the kids are on our own. Sophia starts dance this Friday. So I'm going to put her dance lessons down here. So dance. And then dance is from 2.15 to 3. And then the kids have a half day at school. So they're out at 12.15. And then Saturday, my son has a birthday party. So I'm going to write that he's going birthday. I can spell this day and then that night we're going to the lake um to meet my brother look how nice this pen writes by the way let's talk about how nice this pen writes um we're going to the lake house to pull um the dock in and to have my brother's girl's birthday extravaganza party so we got to make sure we get all the birthday cakes and the birthday gifts and stuff organized for that. So we're going to be putting that here. So birthday extravaganza. And I spelled that wrong, but I don't care. And then church. And yeah, so the great thing is in this kit, it also comes with these little cute cakes. So I'm going to put a cake there and a cake here for the birthday party and then I'm gonna get my icon stickers out Whoop. and we are gonna put all my little icons in so my little dance stickers for Sophia so her little oh 
her little ballet shoes here. And then I don't work this weekend. And then I just want to put in a cleaning icon. So I like to use um, Simply Beautiful Plans, um, little sampler sheet. So Coffee Monday, so that's my Starbucks to remind me to have my Starbucks. And then I always do my planning um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So there's um, like a little planner here. So that just reminds me, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Laundry day is always on Tuesdays. And then I usually gotta find a trash coffee. Trash, I need to find a trash. Oh, here it is, trash out. I knew there was a trash one on there. So laundry, trash out on Tuesday. I plan Thursday and cleaning is Thursday. Mm, and then I do my workouts during the week. Okay, so I just need to find a cute little cleaning bottle somewhere. Don't worry, I have one here somewhere. Do, do, do. takes me a minute to go through. I like to use my samplers um, because you get so many and they're so beautiful and I hate not being able to use them. And here, I found a beautiful cleaning bottle to remind me to clean on Thursday, kids chores from Primrose Designs. And in fact, I'm gonna use this because I like the purple, it matches this kit. This little feather duster as well. Super cute, okay. So that's this week's design. I'm just gonna zoom you guys out. And then I'm just gonna show you in the lighting all the same, how it turned out. I think it turned out incredible. I love her kits. All right, please um, click subscribe below if you enjoyed this. Um, again, I'm sorry about the lighting. It will be better tomorrow um, on my next plan with me. And uh, click like if you like this uh, video. Thanks.